All right, get ready to rock with Pittsburgh CLO's Rock of Ages Ace Young Named or it is opened at the Benetton Center last night with a big cast taking over the singing and dancing to hair band music hits of the 80s and we're already swaying back and forth here and leading the way in the role of the sexy rock god is American Idol finalist Ace Young. Ace is with us here now and welcome. Thanks for being here. Hey, thank you yeah. for waking up. So, so you already <laughs> taught us how to do. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, don't, do don't hang loose. Don't hang loose. Got a rocket like that. There you go. And then tongue hey. out. The tongue out too. <laughs> you did great, Selena. How I'm were impressed. the first few shows? They've been rowdy. I've really? done, I've done okay. many, many shows that are totally different, but this is the one show where you get to interact with, the, with us on stage. So while we're doing the story and while we're in the show, we want to hear you. We want to interact with the crowd. So if you like us, sweet. If you don't, that's fine too. That's Let my us kind know. of show. Holler, hoot and holler. If you know the song, sing with us. It's, it was the rowdiest I've ever seen a musical <laughs> in my life, and I got to see it from the best seat ever. Well, I think there's something about 80s music, 80s rock music, that just revs people up. Yeah. People relate to it, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, it, well, it's a, it's a movement. And then also think about all the songs from a decade that mm -hmm. we get to put in one show. It's one of the best soundtracks you'll ever hear, all in two hours. It's going to be like literally taking you back through your past or when you were born. <laughs> but David and I will be going through our past of the, of the 80s into the early 90s, and that's exactly what it right. is. I mean, right. this is like, put the roof down, drive through drive through the, the desert with your wind blowing through the, <laughs> through the wind. It's freedom. <laughs> and you play Stacy Jacks. Yes. The, the rock star mm -hmm. of this whole thing. I do. And, and tell us what the premise is, because it, it's taking place in Hollywood. Yes. And, and what happens? So this is actually a love story mm -hmm. um, between Dr Drew and Sherry. Okay. Now, Stacy is the, the rocker that, that Drew idolizes. He loves and adores. Um, he just causes so much problems for Drew. And, and you get to go through this huge ride with both Drew and Sherry mm -hmm. and see if they can, can end up making it work or not. Uh -huh. I'm just causing rides. <laughs> And this is all, this is a Pittsburgh CLO show, top to bottom, right? Yes. This isn't a tour. No, this is not a tour. This is only this week. So you, yeah. you'll never see this production again in, unless Pittsburgh CLO wants to put it up one more time. But it's just this week. It's local, local people, local talent, mm -hmm. also with Broadway talent coming in that have done the show before and haven't done the show before. I've seen the show since it was off Broadway before it even started on Broadway oh, in wow. 2006. Mm -hmm. And I've wanted to play this character ever since then. So this is the first time I I get to play Stacy, so I can't wait. I'm, I, I love this character. I can tell that you enjoy this it a is, lot. It, I love it and just as much as you enjoyed those drinks before yeah. you came over to me. <laughs> and you know, and you've been on Broadway before, but also mm -hmm. people may recognize you from American Idol. Yes. Tell us about that experience. Is that nerve wracking or is it fun to be in a, a competition like that? Do you remember your first audition to become what you are today? Yeah, and it, was nerve, it yeah. was nerve wracking. It was nerve wracking. Oh my well, gosh. It's the exact same vibe. Really? I, I was in front of I was in front of millions of people, and uh, and and it was definitely nerve wracking, but it was a lot of fun as well because I knew that was my way to get to my potential fan base. Yeah. I knew that was my way to get to the world, and that was my introduction. Our finale had 200 million live viewers at one time wow. watching the show. Wow. We did a 60, 60 sold out arena tour that summer. We beat Madonna for the biggest tour oh of the gosh. summer. No kidding. Singing cover songs. It was amazing. <laughs> That's so so cool. I, I was able to say my hello and now I'm able to do all these things with the arts and, and actually do what I really love, which is push your comfort level with the art. I want to wake mm -hmm. people up and make you aware of now. And I, I, don't, I don't care if it, if it scares you a little bit, I just want to wake you up. That's awesome. And this show we will are wake, you up. wake you up. <laughs> All, right. All right, well, we know that you know Rock of Ages, but how well do you know rocks in general? Ooh. So, yes. I'm we from have, Boulder. Yeah, yeah, he's from Boulder. Yeah. See, so that's, that's a big rock. That could help, yes. <laughs> we have devised a little quiz to see how much you know, not about rock music, but about rocks themselves. Are you ready for this? No. Okay, let's move. Okay, we're gonna start with question one. So what type of rock is formed by volcanoes? Is it A, sedimentary, B, igneous, or C, metamorphic? Oh man, I don't even remember. I feel like it's igneous. You were correct! Yeah. Ding, I don't ding, remember ding. though. Yeah, it's did. igneous. No, that is the correct answer. Uh, All right, question one two. One for one. Yes, you did right, well ready. so far. <laughs> question two, while a diamond is technically a mineral, not a rock, they are the hardest natural substance. What's the only thing that can actually scratch a diamond? 
sandpaper, Lee press on nails, another diamond. <laughs> Lee press on nails. I would say a higher quality diamond could scratch it. It is another diamond. You are two for two. That, that would two just make two. sense. Yeah, two for right? two. Sounds You're right. doing like really a diamond. Well. I like it. All right, what's next? Okay, Bring question three. Kid Rock is selling his $2.2 million mansion in Detroit. The basement has what unique feature? A, a life size sculpture, B, a seance room, or C, See a beer pong table. My wife and I live in the <laughs> same neighborhood, and I have not been in his basement. Oh wow! I have to totally guess. Hold on, Kid Rock. He's sh he's he's better than beer pong. I'm gonna say the statue. Is it beer pong? It's beer pong. What? <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Come Ron on! Is laughing. <laughs> All right, we have one final question, continuing our rock theme. A little out there, though. Actor Rock Hudson became a huge movie and TV star in the 50s and 60s. What was his real name? A, Roy. Oh, no. B, Frank. C, Jasper. His last name is Hudson, right? His last name is Hudson, right. yes. My last name's Hudson, and I'm naming a kid. What would I pick? I wouldn't pick Jasper. Okay. It's not going to happen. Uh, Roy. You are correct. Yes. You are that correct. That was pretty good. I would say you passed the quiz. I did all right. You well, did what, fantastic. What, three out of four. Yeah. Three out of so four. I got, a, I got a C. That's a passing grade. A B. That's yeah, a C. You got a Seventy-five. <laughs> Come on, Selena. Wake up. That drink took her down. <laughs> we need. You need more. CLO with us. <laughs> All right. All right, thank you so much, and come see Ace Young and the rest of the cast at Pittsburgh CLO's Rock of Ages. It's on stage now at the Benham Center, and it runs through this Sunday. Let me hear you guys. I want to rock! I want to rock! rock! Yes! <laughs> Nicely done. I'll see you guys soon. Up next, do you recognize this guy? Longtime KDK reporter Ralph is hanging up his microphone. After 37 years on the beat, Ralph joins us before he retires tomorrow to share some of his favorite stories from on and off the air as well. Can't wait for that and then stay with us when we head on over to the kitchen to cook with this guy. Chef Bill Fuller is here with a light summer dish we can make at home. Thanks so much as always for watching PTL. We'll be right back. Yeah.